Hole number one is a par four. It's 422 yards. This downhill dog leg left opening hole is a likely birdie hole. An aggressive player could try to cut the corner and get inside 100 yards. The lava rock outcropping just beyond the dog leg is an ancient fish lookout. Hawaiians would stand on it to scout for schools of fish in the ocean. This hole offers a beautiful view of offshore islands, Molokini and Kahoholawe. The undulating green is tightly bunkered in front. Hole number two is a par five. It's 523 yards. Gold number two offers a potential eagle because the prevailing wind is at your back. The perfect tee shot is center right, about 250 yards from the green. The large bunker near the green is one of Robert Trent Jones Jr.'s illusion bunkers. There is a 45 yard fast lane between it and the edge of the green. Hole number three, it's a par three. 202 yards. This green is guarded on the left by deep bunkers and the hole is located on the left side of the green which can complicate the tee shots as well as make for tricky putting. Hole number four. A par four. 415 yards. An ideal tee shot would be anywhere in the fairway which slopes from right to left. The prevailing wind is against you on this hole. The green has a small plateau and it's a difficult chip if you overshoot the green. So accuracy is key here. The fifth hole is a straightaway downwind par four measuring 452 yards. The tee shot is elevated, so it will also play downhill on the drive. Left side slopes back to the fairway, so you'll want to avoid the large fairway bunkers. The second shot is slightly uphill. The green tilts considerably from left to right and from back to front. Hole number six is par four. It's 287 yards. All the great golf courses have a hole like this, a drivable par four. It's 19 yards between the front bunker and the edge of the green. The wind is usually at your back. There have only been two holes in one on gold number six since the course opened in 1994. Behind the tee, there's a spectacular view of Kahalavehi, known locally as the West Maui Mountain. There are seven bunkers protecting this tight green. Hole number seven is a par five. It's 590 yards, and this is the toughest hole in all of Wailea. A slightly uphill double dog leg that's a true three shot par five. There are no easy shots on this hole. All nine bunkers will come into play. The tee shot usually faces the wind. It'll be important to avoid overdriving this fairway. If you hit it too long off the tee, you're likely to end up in the rough. The second and third shots will usually have a left to right crosswind. The second shot should be placed between the fairway and the bunkers. The green has a false front and players won't be able to see the putting surface from the fairway. The par 3 eighth hole is 216 yards and this hole says everything there is to say about the Wailea Gold Course. It has a fabulous view of the ocean with offshore islands Kaho'olawe and Molokini in the distance, beautiful coconut trees, ancient lava rock walls called Papohaku, and sparkling white sand bunkers. The hole itself plays downhill with a prevailing crosswind from right to left. Hole number nine is a par four, 353 yards. This short par four plays against the wind to a shallow green that's only 20 paces from the front to back. Seven bunkers surround the green. There's a beautiful view of the award-winning Wailea Gold and Emerald Clubhouse from the green. And looking back up the hole is a picturesque look at the volcanic cinder cone Pu'ulahi. Hole number 10, par four. 415 yards. This is a downhill downwind relatively short par four with eight bunkers. A good drive will set you up for a short iron shot to the large and elevated green. 
Hole number 11. This is a par 3, 170 yards. Gold 11 features the smallest green on the course. The prevailing wind is from left to right, and there are five bunkers surrounding the green. Hole number 12. This is a par 4, 487 yards. This long par 4 is an excellent driving hole because the fairway is wide with no bunkers. Players can really let out the shaft on this hole. The green is large and golfers can use the little contour to the left to bounce the ball onto the green. The prevailing wind is from right to left. The island of Lanai is visible from this hole. Hole number 13, a par 5, 530 yards. The lake near the tee box is the only lake on the gold course. Long hitters will have a chance of reaching the hourglass shaped green in two. The key obstacle is the fairway bunkers near the green. From the 250 yard plate, it's 190 yards to carry the fairway bunker on the left. The top of the hourglass green is surrounded by bunkers. Hole number 14, a par 4, 444 yards. The tee shot is key on this hole. It will be slightly downhill with a prevailing crosswind from right to left. The green is guarded on the right by the lake. You can enjoy a beautiful view of Pulane, the volcanic cinder cone south of Wailea. Hole number 15 is a par 5. It's 548 yards. This uphill par 5 hole is a slight dog leg left and usually plays into the wind. If the wind is not blowing, long hitters may be able to reach the green in two. There are several Papuhaku walls in this hole. These low lava rock walls are a testament to the construction skills of the Hawaiian people. They use no mortar to hold the rocks together, and centuries later they are still standing. The green is protected on the left with two bunkers and on the right with one. Hole number 16, a par 3, 208 yards. Hole 16 plays directly into the wind and club selection is key. The green is pretty straightforward. It's large with no slope. There's a nice view here of the West Maui Mountains and the offshore islands of Kaho Olave and Molokini. Hole number 17, a par 4, 378 yards. This is a short downwind par 4 with a tight fairway. The safe play would be to favor the left side of the fairway as the ball will tend to feed right. The front of the green is well protected by bunkers. Hole number 18, a par 4, 438 yards. The Aloha hole as we say here in Hawaii. This downhill hole usually plays into the wind. A perfect shot would be a nice draw off the tee. The large tree on the left prevents a fade. Before you leave the hole, you should take in a gorgeous view of the West Maui Mountains and the island of Lanai. The green is canted right to left. 